Mirmula Osmanovic, an associate professor in the Social and Political Science Department at the International University of Sarajevo. Welcome to the program, Admir. Uh, today's commemoration comes amid rising tensions in Bosnia. Last month, the German government paved the way to deploy troops with the EU's peacekeeping mission in Bosnia for the first time in a decade as the country faces an increasingly assertive uh, Bosnian Serb separatist movement. Can you tell us more about those rising tensions and what's happening there? Uh, first of all, thank you for having me today. And yes, you are you are correct. You are right. Uh, the rising tensions uh, we can witness on daily basis. I think not only in Bosnia Herzegovina, but all around uh, the, the the Western Balkans, in Montenegro, for example, where the government is on the very shaky shaky legs. So Bosnia Herzegovina, unfortunately is living one uh, pre-election period. You know that uh, we, we will have elections in October this year. And uh, tensions are rising also because of that fact. But at the first place, unfortunately, we can say that these uh, uh, anti-Bosnian politics uh, somehow gathered around two politicians, very strong politicians in Bosnia-Herzegovina, Serb Milorad Dodik, and Croat Dragan Dragan Čović are trying to finish something what was started in the some 30 years ago when the dissolution of of Yugoslavia meant for these nationalists uh, also the dissolution of Bosnia and Herzegovina so oh, both of them and all the supporters around them are believing that the time has come these politics will win and the Bosnia Herzegovina will be split, will be will be finished as, as a state. So unfortunately, uh, within Bosnia Herzegovina, and of course, in the context of the Western Balkans, by support of Serbia and, and some Croatian politicians, uh, we, we we see these uh, tremendous, tremendous political political uh, situation here. But also, we don't see a strong enough response by European Union and United States of America, or we don't see strong enough uh, re response by democracies all around the world, which should support Bosnia and Herzegovina and the politicians and the politics who are gathered around the democratic values, universal values, and and uh, who are supporting uh, democratic world uh, here in, in 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 our capital and all around Bosnia and Herzegovina. So tensions are rising. I believe, unfortunately, that this is not the peak. It will go higher. But uh, with uh, and I will underline it, support of the EU, United States, Turkey as well, we can prevail it. And probably next four years finish with these uh, uh, anachronic nationalist politics who are attacking Bosnian statehood. And Admir, can I just uh, ask you to quickly reflect on the terrible Srebrenica massacre? The Dutch government became the latest last month to apologise for uh, its failure to do more in terms of its uh, P UN peacekeeping uh, contingent at the time in 1995. Uh, explain to us, do you think that the UN has learned from its perceived failures uh, that led uh, to this terrible atrocity back in 95? Maybe all of them received the message. Maybe all of them received the message. But how they will run when they will finish with these politics who are denying the genocide, who are denying the Bosnian statehood, and who are denying the Bosnians as a, as a nation, you know. So when we finish with all of this, with the support by the Organization of United Nations, with the support of the Western democracies, then we can say the lesson is learned. We have to finish it, and now it is the time to support Bosnia and Herzegovina and its statehood. Okay, Admir Mulanozovic, uh, always really good to get your thoughts on the issue. Thank you again for joining us on Thank TRT World. Thank you so much. World. Thank you.